Hi, my name is Todd Lamley, and welcome to the three-minute update of two great features found in the new Cisco Firepower 7.1 code, Health Policy and FTD GUI CLI. If I come in here and take a look at the Health Policy, I'm going to come up here to System. In Health Policy, we had done the monitor, but you need to have a Health Policy. Now, the default would be assigned automatically. I have deleted mine. So I'm going to say pod 14 health, and we're going to take a base policy of default and say save. Now in this one, I'm going to open this up. And this is the differences. And really what I'm showing you is the differences from the past before 7.1 in the health policy. All the way in the four code, five code, six code, seven code, everything up to 7.1 here, the health policy was all the same. Now it's different. Now in the health monitor, if I come up here and say health monitor, which we looked at already in the last three minute update, that we can see inside there that, and we really like this. If I come down here over, let's see, let me just look at a 4140 here. No Notice there's a CPU here, right? Memory and throughput, great stuff here, right? But we're not going to get anything in the CPU because by default this is off. Now you might want this off because you're always going to see critical alerts here because we're going to use past the warning threshold, critical threshold on the first CPU before it goes to the next one. We'll turn it on so I can see it here for my videos. And the other ones, I'm not going to go through all these again, but what's really nice in here says, hey, this one's for FTD. This one's for FMC and FTD, or this one's just for FMC. There's some great stuff in here. FMC HA status, and that's on. That's kind of nice. FTD HA, off by default. So you can go through these, choose the ones you want. And what's the big difference here, though? I'm going to say safe, is how this is deployed. It's so much different than the other one, so much better. Totally get an upgrade. It was so old school before this. So I'm going to choose the devices that I want. Completely different, right? If you've ever <laughs> remember the policy, and then I'm going to say apply. And this is great. And then we'll see this poly assignments and deploy show differently. So I'm going to click up here, go to tasks, and we're going to watch these being applied. The next thing I wanted to show you was devices. When I go back to devices here, device management, inside device management, go to devices here. And I'll say, I want to go to health monitor. So I already have the health monitor open. So I'm going to come over here and in health monitor in the 4140, I can say view system and troubleshooting details. This is how we used to get to the CLI all the time for a device. Notice we can see we get more information here, but I'm going to go to advanced troubleshooting. Now we're not going to see the same thing that we saw before. You can notice here, all we see is the download information, download files, right? Over here, we have some quick links. But what they did here is really nice. They came in here and they said devices and under troubleshoot, they put a quick link for us. Threat Defense CLI. This has been sorely needed. Now I can come in here and say FTD 14, whatever, run all. This gives me all the commands for ASA or the Lena process on my device. This is a lot of commands. So, but nice that I can scroll up and down, copy it off, come in here, get the information I want, copy it. This is really nice output here, but I can't run all the commands that I want. Show, you know, so I can say show managers, for example, so I can see what my FTD is connected to on FTD. It's not going to let me do it. First off, if you're in here and you can see the device, this is your manager. But it'd still be nice to be able to type these commands in. How about if I see the v management VLAN of this device, right? I can't see this information. So for that, I need to go actually to the CLI through PuTTY or whatever. So from here, you can see that I'm in the console show Network, get my management VLAN. I had already done that. Management VLAN info, show managers. There is a plural on this now. <laughs> the other thing that I can't do here is just basically type some commands in. System support diagnostic CLI, which will take me to the Lena process, which I want to go to. System, use tab key, support diagnostic CLI. This allows me to get into the Lena process, right? Which we want to do. So from here, I could say term pager 90, for example. So now this is an old ASA command to limit my output show run, right? And now I'm going to get a more command. I could say term pager less so I don't get this much. But between the two of these, this is still a very helpful command and it's really nice or very helpful GUI. And it's nice that we can now get into devices, threat defense CLI and see all our devices. My name is Todd Lamley and this is your three minute update.